Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I want to show you the isNumber function which is very helpful in those scenarios where you want to evaluate whether you are getting the number in the required column or as an output of the required expression. So how we can configure it and use it and what the output it is returning is something we will going to view it. With that, uh, just a quick information that if you have landed on my channel for the very first time, then you can uh, find this sheet, the live Google sheet, the link of this live Google sheet into the description. Uh, this is something I'm keeping it because you can then search it all of my previous videos very easily as compared to going into the YouTube and finding all the previous videos. Also, I keep highlighting whenever I publish any dashboard as you can see it over here so all of those titles are present here and the link is present in column b so search any of the video that you need and the link with the link jump to that video also since it is a live google sheet it will always be most up to date so make sure you bookmark this and uh, use it for any particular scenario if you are uh, finding an issue okay with that let me go to the power bi so here we are in the Power BI and we have this age column. So this is a table what I created uh, to, to basically explain about all of these functions which is related to is. And over here you can see in some columns we have the age but in other columns there is a missing value or the blank value is present. So what we want as an output is uh, it should return the number as true where, where the number is present otherwise it should return false. And that is basically what is number function do. So if I um, click on this and uh, we will say find underscore number or you can give any relevant name. I'm just making this up. So I will say is number and we will have to provide the value of the column name, which is age in this case. And that is all what we need to do, right? So as you can see, Wherever the number is present, you are getting true. Wherever the number is not present, you are getting false. Also, you can wrap this inside the if function. Like if this is the number, if it is a number, then what should be the case like h, right? If it is not a number, then Let's say you want to give a default age of, I don't know, 21, as in maybe 25 in this case, probably if that's like a baseline or the minimum age that you want to give. If that's what the condition is, you just do this and you have successfully imputed the missing value, right? One of those cases where uh, in the machine learning, you want to have a value present over there. So that's something what you can do or utilize the is number function. You can also specify any expression like the average of this to get the output over here. You can be as creative as you want, right? But mainly I wanted to show you the is number function with the if function and then what can be done with the help of this example. So that's pretty much it and I'll meet you in the next video with a new topic.